Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. A former Icon Aircraft CEO sues the company and the president steps down. NBAA base is canceled. An F-16 fighter pilot dies in a South Carolina crash. And a special announcement on an upcoming Aeropreneur webinar. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Former Icon Aircraft CEO and founder Kirk Hawkins is now suing the company, and Thomas Wieners, president and COO, has quietly stepped down with little acknowledgement from the company. A lawsuit filed on June 26 by Hawkins names Icon Aircraft and a number of foreign companies as well as some unnamed parties as the defendants in a complaint alleging breach of contract, breach of the covenant of good faith and fair dealing intentional misrepresentation, tortious interference with prospective economic advantage, and declaratory judgment. The lawsuit then goes into a number of specific charges against those named in the document, as well as unnamed persons, such as making false statements to Hawkins to get him to accept employment on terms the PDSTI parties, a state-owned entity headquartered in Shanghai. New Icon had no intention to perform, and which they planned to impede, attempting to send false and defamatory statements about Hawkins to stockholders, and threatening him with legal action if he didn't publicly retract his views concerning Icon. In the meantime, Thomas Wieners is now the COO of a boat company in Opelaka, Florida. Wieners has been taken off the Icon website leadership roster, but there has been no other mention of his departure. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Like most of you, we're still working from home. We miss being around pilots. But the most important thing right now is to mitigate your risks and use this time productively while we all get through this. Folks, King Schools is open and we're 100% operational. We're making sure that your courses work and are available for you 24-7. We look forward to the time when we can see you again at the airport. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the Light Sport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrel is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Purchasers of the 2020 version of the Kodiak 100 aircraft will benefit from free scheduled maintenance during the first two years of ownership with the Kodiak Care Maintenance Program. This incentive marks the latest step in DAR's alignment of the support, coverage, and customer experience for both members of the Kodiak and TBM airplane family. New Kodiak 100 owners can also benefit from the U.S. government's special economic recovery incentives to businesses, in which a taxpayer can receive income tax refunds from as far back as 2015, and 100% bonus depreciation with the acquisition of a business aircraft. Gulfstream has put its 200th super mid-sized Gulfstream G280 business jet into service. The aircraft was introduced back in 2009 and was certified by the FAA in 2012, entering into service that same year. As of April, the in-service G280 fleet had accrued over 200,000 hours and completed more than 145,000 landings. The aircraft has an NBAA dispatch reliability rate of 99.81%. Black Hawk Aerospace has the FAA's approval of a new STC for their new XR upgrade kit for the King Air 350 series. The XR kit optimizes the stock King Air 350 series aircraft by increasing max gross takeoff weight to 16,500 pounds and maintaining a basic aircraft empty weight that is 220 pounds lighter than comparable extended range aircraft for greater payloads. The original Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6A-60A engine and four-bladed aluminum propellers are removed and replaced with brand new 1200 shaft horsepower PT-6A-67A engines and lightweight MT-5 bladed composite propellers. Airbus announced it will cut 15,000 jobs over the next year in order to compensate for losses caused by the coronavirus pandemic. Since the spread of the virus, Airbus has seen a 40% drop in business and plans to cut 5,100 jobs in Germany, 5,000 in France, 
1700 in the UK, 900 in Spain, and 1300 in other locations around the world by the middle of next year. Airbus CEO Guillaume Ferry has this to say about the job cuts in a video posted to Twitter. Given the scale of the crisis and the share of our business that has disappeared for the foreseeable future, there's still a need for adaptation. This means we consider that a reduction of positions cannot be avoided. We will work with our social partners to further limit the impact of this adaptation plan on Airbus employees. This is, of course, a matter of deep regret and something that, as a management team, we would have preferred to avoid. However, it's our duty to face reality as it stands. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. The NBAA has canceled its 2020 Business Aviation Convention Exhibition, scheduled to take place in Orlando, Florida, October 6th through the 8th. The cancellation is based on clear guidance from public health officials at all level of government addressing the complex COVID-19 related challenges associated with large indoor venues. Recently, the Florida Department of Health has issued an advisory recommending that individuals avoid participation in gatherings of more than 50 people. In addition, Florida, as well as many other states, have travel restrictions in place, and flights to and from many international countries are banned. President and CEO of the NBAA, Ed Bolin, stated the organization greatly regrets having to cancel this year's event, and they will begin working immediately with exhibitors and others in preparation for next year's event. The 2021 NBAA Business Aviation Convention Exhibition will take place on October 12th through the 14th in Las Vegas. On Tuesday, an F-16CM assigned to the 20th Fighter Wing of Shaw Air Force Base in South Carolina, crashed during a training mission being conducted at the base, killing pilot First Lieutenant David Schmitz. The aircraft crashed upon landing at about 11.30 p.m. local time, and Schmitz, the only person on board the aircraft, was pronounced dead at the scene. The cause of the accident is still being investigated and is the fourth serious Air Force accident in less than two months. Colonel Larry Sullivan, commander of the 20th Fighter Wing at Shaw Air Force Base, had this to say about Schmitz. Last night, we lost one of our very best, Lieutenant David Schmidt. He died conducting a training sortie here in South Carolina as his squadron, the 77th Gamblers, is preparing to deploy overseas for combat operations. Dave loved a lot of things. He loved his family, his country, and he loved to fly. He earned his pilot's license when he was 17 years old. He enlisted in the United States Air Force and served his distinction as a loadmaster on the C-17, supporting some of our nation's most sensitive missions. And he never gave up on his lifelong goal of flying for the United States Air Force as a pilot. He earned his commission through officer training school. He graduated at the top of his class in pilot training and he earned a spot in F-16 and here at the 77th. Our condolences go out to the Schmidt family to the gamblers, and to all of Team Shaw. We'd like to thank the local Shaw Sumter community for the support they've shown us, to the Air Force from all over the world, and to the DOD. Updates on the investigation will be posted on the Shaw Air Force Base website and Facebook page as they become available. We have a special announcement to make before we head out for this week. You'll want to join the Aeropreneur team this Monday for the Aero News Network's Road to Recovery webinar, where they'll help you get through the COVID-19 slump and help you map out your plan to a profitable summer. 
During the webinar, the team will be discussing all the sales and marketing tactics they use to bring success to Aero News Network's clients, as well as a roadmap on how to implement these actions on a budget. The link to RSVP is in today's video description, and you'll want to RSVP for the webinar today to ensure you don't get left in the dust by your competition. All attendees will receive a digital marketing checklist and an Aeropreneur evaluation as a free gift. Have a fun and safe 4th of July weekend. I'll see you all back here Monday. Thank you.